Hi guys, happy Easter, even though it's most definitely not Easter, but I also say Merry Christmas a lot. But Easter works for the theme of this video, so enjoy vegan gluten-free buns, hot cross buns. So first you want to create an environment for your yeast. You add in your warm milk and then you add sugar to feed the yeast or any type of sweetener. And once you add in the yeast, you stir it around and cover it and let it sit for a while. For the dough, you basically want your flour to add up to one cup and since I made it gluten free, I added a bunch of different flours and towards the end I realized that I didn't add enough flour, so I just added some more old flour, but you can do whatever. Thanksgiving spices! For the applesauce, you can just put some apples into the microwave with some water and cinnamon and then blend it all up. Eventually, this is what your yeast mixture will look like. Add it in slowly, bit by bit, because I added way too much and then I got a little liquidy and had to add more flour and the consistency was not. I forgot to add this until the very end, but you're not like me, so you won't forget. Now you're gonna need some orange zest. You just take an orange and grate it a bit and add the little grated orange to the dough. To prepare mixture for the piping bags to put on top of the buns, you just mix flour and water until you get this consistency. And the glaze. I literally googled funny slicing image and then this is what happened. Remember happened. the snazzy mixture we made earlier? Just put it in a piping bag and make some artistic crosses like I just did. And then heat up your glaze and immediately paint it onto the buns because otherwise... The buns will get cold and no one likes cold buns. And also the glaze won't glaze and you want your glaze to glaze. What was she thinking when she piped those crosses? We don't know. Will we find out? No. I definitely think I agree that this recipe should have been called hot cross scones instead of hot cross buns because they taste and resemble scones completely. Um, I mean, they're crumbly. They're not as fluffy as hot cross buns. So the title of this video is slightly deceiving but you know all youtube videos are this recipe was inspired by a spoonful of ruby on instagram i'm not sure i think that's her blog name i'm not sure but her recipe i mean the buns that she made looked amazing um but i chose to make them gluten-free as well since i am allergic to wheat um so i kind of just did my own thing added a bit of this added a bit of that and just experimented maybe next time i'll experiment with different flowers but this this, this time i used oat flour rice flour tapioca starch and amaranth flour um oat flour i like we have bags and bags of oats and it's so easy to make oat flour you literally take oats put them in the blender blend it and you have oat flour and um oats are really good if you're like me i'm trying to like consciously incorporate a lot of fiber into my diet so they have like a, mo a moderate amount of fiber it has like eight grams of fiber per cup and um what i was i wanted to do that but then i decided that i didn't want to be cringy so then i ended up doing this okay um then the amaranth fly i know that seems like amaranth what where um, I just think it's it's a way softer flour, so it kind of held everything together. I think if I only used oat flour, if I only used rice flour, it would just fall apart. Um, so the tapioca starch and the amaranth made sure that did happen. Um, and also amaranth contains lysine, which is one of the amino acids that your body can't manufacture. So it's always good to know what foods contain which amino acids and try and try your best to incorporate them into your diets. So, you know, fun fact of the day. <laughs> And also, my sweetener, um, I used coconut sugar and maple syrup just because I try to sh sh stay, stay, stay away from refined sugar as much as possible. Um, but I'm not saying that it has some completely different glycemic index. It's like very similar. I just feel like, I mean, it, it, <laughs> it's not empty it has a lot it contains a lot it retains a lot more of the nutrients i mean if you wanted to go completely sugar free i would recommend using any other granulated sweetener of your choice i mean i personally like like really like xylitol um it doesn't have that aftertaste so you could totally use something like that as a sweetener for the dough but don't use that for um feeding the yeast because it has a very low glycemic index it's not going to um not sufficient for the yeast to aspire but yeah that was my rendition of vegan gluten-free hot cross buns scones i hope you enjoyed and um if you do make the recipe let me know how you liked it and um have a great sunday it's not sunday it's like tuesday but you know 
like, comment, subscribe, all that schnaz. Um, I'd really appreciate if you did that. And I'll see you guys soon.